an atmospheric water generator, is a device that extracts water from humid ambient air. Water vapor in the air is condensed by cooling the air below its dew point, exposing the air to desiccants, or pressurizing the air. Unlike a dehumidifier, an AWG is designed to render the water potable. AWGs are useful where pure drinking water is difficult or impossible to obtain, because there is almost always a small amount of water in the air that can be extracted. The two primary techniques in use are cooling and desiccants. The extraction of atmospheric water may not be completely free of cost, because significant input of energy is required to drive some AWG processes. Certain traditional AWG methods are completely passive, relying on natural temperature differences, and requiring no external energy source. Research has also developed AWG technologies to produce useful yields of water at a reduced energy cost. History the Incas were able to sustain their culture above the rain line by collecting dew and channeling it to cisterns for later distribution. Historical records indicate the use of water collecting fog fences. These traditional methods have usually been completely passive, requiring no external energy source other than naturally occurring temperature variations. Modern technologies, many atmospheric water generators operate in a manner very similar to that of a dehumidifier. Air is passed over a cooled coil, causing water to condense. The rate of water production depends on the ambient temperature, humidity, the volume of air passing over the coil, and the machine's capacity to cool the coil. These systems reduce air temperature, which in turn reduces the air's capacity to carry water vapor. This is the most common technology in use, but when powered by coal-based electricity it has one of the worst carbon footprints of any water source and it demands more than four times as much water up the supply chain as it delivers to the user. An alternative available technology uses liquid, or wet desiccants such as lithium chloride or lithium bromide to pull water from the air via hygroscopic processes. A proposed similar technique combines the use of solid desiccants, such as silica gel and zeolite, with pressure condensation equals cooling condensation equals in a cooling condensation type atmospheric water generator a compressor circulates refrigerant through a condenser and then an evaporator coil which cools the air surrounding it this lowers the air temperature to its dew point causing water to condense a controlled speed fan pushes filtered air over the coil the resulting water is then passed into a holding tank with purification and filtration system to help keep the water pure and reduce the risk posed by viruses and bacteria which may be collected from the ambient air on the evaporator coil by the condensing water. The rate at which water can be produced depends on relative humidity and ambient air temperature and size of the compressor. Atmospheric water generators become more effective as relative humidity and air temperature increase. As a rule of thumb, cooling condensation atmospheric water generators do not work efficiently when the temperature falls below 18.3 degrees Celsius or the relative humidity drops below 30%. This means they are relatively inefficient when located inside air-conditioned offices. The cost-effectiveness of an AWG depends on the capacity of the machine, local humidity and temperature conditions and the cost to power the unit. Equals wet desiccation equals one form of wet desiccant water generation involves the use of salt in a concentrated brine solution to absorb the ambient humidity. These systems then extract the water from the solution and purify it for consumption. A version of this technology was developed as portable devices which run on generators. Large versions, mounted on trailers, are said to produce up to 1,200 U.S. gallons of water per day at a ratio of up to 5 gallons of water per gallon of fuel. This technology was contracted for use by the U.S. Army and the U.S. Navy from Terraleb and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. A variation of this technology has been developed to be more environmentally friendly, primarily through the use of passive solar energy and gravity. Brine is streamed down the outside of towers, where it absorbs water from the air. The brine then enters a chamber and subjected to a partial vacuum and heated. The water vapor is collected and condensed, while the renewed brine is recirculated through the system. As the condensed water is removed from the system using gravity, it creates the vacuum which lowers the boiling point of the brine. 
In greenhouses, a special case is the water generation in greenhouses because the air inside a greenhouse is much hotter and more humid than the outside. Particularly in climatic zones with water scarcity, a greenhouse can strongly enhance the conditions necessary for atmospheric water generation. Examples of a seawater greenhouse in Amman, and the proposed Integrated Biotectural System or IBTS greenhouse. In fiction, in the Dune series, Freeman on the desert world Arrakis collected water from the atmosphere on a massive scale by erecting wind traps that funneled dew-laden air into cool underground caverns. In Star Wars, Luke Skywalker's family on Tatooine used atmospheric water generation on their moisture farm. In the Star Trek, the Next Generation episode The Inner Light, Captain Picard suggests building atmospheric condensers for a planet experiencing prolonged drought. See also Air well, dew pond, fog collection, rainwater harvesting, solar chimney, water maker, solar still, water gen. References